Russia established mobile Tsar train defense line in Donetsk using more than 2,000 railway cars. The Surovikin line is rightfully considered one of the most significant achievements of the Russian armed forces in terms of building defense. It was against this large-scale fortification that last year's widely publicized counter-offensive of the Ukrainian armed forces was shattered. Meanwhile, against the background of the above-mentioned line, another unique defense structure called the Tsar train remained as if on the sidelines. The video published by Russian paramilitary telegram channels talks about a mobile defense line consisting of more than 2,000 railway cars and stretching for 30 kilometers from Elenivka to Volnovaka in the Donetsk. A very unusual defense line was created by our military in the middle of last year. This structure should have helped prevent a deep breakthrough of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Donetsk direction if Kiev had chosen it as a priority during its counter-offensive. As the author of the video said, several locomotives were built into the huge train which were constantly moving. Thus, it was not possible to overcome the improvised line of defense, not only for the military equipment of the enemy troops, but also for the personnel. At the same time, according to him, the cars and locomotives of the mobile defense line are connected in such a way that even if they fall, they cannot detach and break the solid barrier. At present, due to the extremely difficult situation that the Ukrainian armed forces have on the Donetsk front, the unique line of defense on wheels is unlikely to be used by Russian military for its intended purpose. Russia slows down offensive near Avdiivka but intensifies pressure on Chasiv Yar. For the first time in several days, Russian troops were unable to advance in the Avdiivka area. At the same time, the Russians conducted slightly more attack in the Bakhmut Chasiv Yar direction than in the Avdiivka direction, according to the Institute for the Study of War. The Institute referred to the reports of the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. At the same time, the Russians launched many more attacks in the direction of Chasiv Yar than Ukrainian sources reported. The ISW noted that reports for one day are not enough to establish a pattern. However, the information provided by the general staff may indicate that the Russians are somewhat slowing down the pace of shelling west of Avdiivka, but resuming offensive actions near the town of Chasiv Yar, as noted in previous ISW reports. Since April the 20th, Russian forces have focused on developing tactical success near Ocheretny and Novokalinov villages. However, as of April the 30th, the pace of the confirmed offensive appears to have slowed. Russian military bloggers claimed that Russian troops had advanced 2.7 kilometers wide and 1.52 kilometers deep north of Novokalinov, south of Keramik, north of Avdiivka, in an area up to 1.75 kilometers wide and 1.15 kilometers deep northwest of the village of Ocheritain in the direction of Novolek Sandrivka. Russian bloggers also noted that Russian troops had advanced west of Semenivka and Berdichiv, northwest of Avdivka. The ISW has not observed visual evidence of any of these claims. Russian mill bloggers claim that Russian forces operating near Ocheritain are 13 kilometers from the Pokrovsk Kostyantinivka highway, which is consistent with ISW's assessed. Russian advances in the area, the report says. The ISW noted that fighting also continued northwest of Avdiivka, near the villages of Arkhanhelsky, Sokil, and Solovyov, west of Avdiivka, near the Umansk, and southwest of Avdiivka, near Netelov. According to ISW map analysis, fighting continues simultaneously in many areas of the front. The Ukrainian armed forces have regained some of the lost positions near Kremina in the Luhansk region, but the Russian troops are pressing near Robotain and in the area of Chasiv Yar. <laughs> Ah, certo. 